This is Stooge Club. Welcome back to Stooge Club. I am your host, The Stooge. We have 13 Star Wars Mashems, blind box bag little thingies to open. Got these on sale. They're only a pound, so we bought the rest, got the box with them. But before we do that, as always, geeks, gamers, sweaties, Star Wars fans, may the force be with you while you strap yourselves in, because here we go. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at the box that it comes with because I bought the rest of them. I got the box. Somebody stole the uh, display one. Bunch of savages in this town. If anyone knows what that reference is from, put it in the comments below. They also put gum in the locks. All right, so this is what the little boxies look like. Let's see if we can get that into focus here. There we go. Da, 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 da. All right. Where is the strip? So these are squishy mashems. We, uh, we opened some My Little Pony ones of these, I believe, and some Incredibles ones. We did those ones with the wife, but I get the Star Wars ones. All right, who have we got first? Oh, yeah, folks. We start off with a bit of Boba Fett action. You can't complain with that at all. Starting off with Boba Fett. Come on. Come on. So it looks like we've also got C-3PO, R2, Stormtrooper, uh, Vader, and Yoda. All right, here we go. Right, I'm going to use scissors just because it's easier. Folks, don't do stuff the way I do it. There we go. There we go. This is not going well. This is not going well. We're going downhill with this unboxing. All right. There you go. Nice. Nice. It didn't have its paper, but whatever. We got C-3PO. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I really, actually, let's have a, a real good look at these. So you can see exactly. They're kind of st st sticky and squishy. I like it. I like it. And they stand up nicely too. And they wobbly. All right. Uh, where is it? Ah, okay, we'll do this away from your hand, which is the way you're supposed to use the scissors. And gently, and not all the way, so we don't cut ourselves. There we go. That went well. Nice one. All right. What do we... <gasps> yes! Master Yoda is in the house. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. He's so cute. Bah. <laughs> this sticky, but yeah. Okay, I like them. Uh, so this is series one. Hopefully they make, well, hopefully I find more of these on sale. So while I am doing this, I will give you guys a, a little hint. So department stores will put stuff on sale a lot and they usually have a clearance section. Go check it from time to time. You never know what appears in there. These, uh, I've got these, the My Little Ponies ones, a bunch of different Incredibles ones, uh, all from the clearance section at a department store for between 60p and a pound each, which is pretty damn good. All right, and we got the Stormtrooper. Trooper. <laughs> 
<laughs> they feel nice to squish, actually. Eh. They go back into shape quite well. They're not a uh, slow squish, though. They're just a squish and back into shape. All right. So we've got the Stormtrooper. So who else are we missing now? We're missing R2 and Vader. And that's the set. I don't think there's any mystery ones in this set. I don't think. What do we get? Ah, another Stormtrooper. So we can leave him in there. This is a part of the video that gets annoying because now we're trying to search for non-double ups. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Yoda, but that's awesome. Because the double ups will be put aside for G Banks, of course, because he's a, a huge Star Wars fan as well. It's a T Lux Wino Ren, which. No. Aha! Here's what we were looking for the dark side of the force. Alright, the black one looks. The black looks really good, actually. You may not be able to see all the detailing in the mold, but it is actually a really nice mold. Let's try and get it a bit more in focus. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. Six more to go, folks. So do you collect these squishies by mashems, mashems, twistems, and squishems? Ah, another stormtrooper. I like these. Uh, some of them yeah, don't look the best, but I think they've put a, some good work into these Star Wars ones. They did some... The Incredibles ones were pretty cool as well. But I did see some Disney princess ones, and the wife was like, nah, I don't like the way they're designed. Because clearly they weren't for me. I'm not a princess, unfortunately. Uh, yes! C, three, P, oh! Actually, gold looks quite nice. Even though we already have him. He's different to, like, the two double-up stormtroopers, so... <laughs> All right, what else? Come on, come on, come on, R2. Finish my set. It's the only problem with blind bags. Stormtrooper. There's always common ones, and you always end up with a bunch of them. And it's always annoying. <laughs> but the good thing is, G Banks is also a collector, so I put stuff aside for him for when he eventually comes over. And we got R2, finally! R2 is in the house. That's awesome. So I got the complete set now. That's cool. Yeah, but as I was saying, G Banks is also a collector. So that is helpful. And then if we get triple ups, uh, eventually I'm probably just going to grab a market stall for a day and we'll get rid of our triple ups really cheap. Plus, my wife does some stuff with her work, some community stuff. There is a Yoda. Uh, and they do, like, raffles for charity, for kids' charities and things like that every now and then. So I donate some stuff to that as well. So we'll put together a little thing of toys and we'll, we end up donating a couple of prizes uh, towards the raffle. So there's always use for double-ups and triple-ups in your life, folks. Even though they're annoying, there's always use. And then on top of that, uh, if you're into it, which I don't really do... You can always go on to Facebook, join groups, do trades, get the stuff that you want, that you need, that you don't have, 
whatever. So there is always room for double and triple ups. There you go. Our last one is a Yoda. So we have the complete set. Focus. They are very cool looking. Vader is my favorite, followed by Yoda. And not just because of the character, just because they look really cool. And there is another look at R2. C3PO. Stormtrooper. And everyone's favorite Star Wars character, Boba Fett. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm happy I got the full set, so I am done with this series. Maybe if there's a series two, we'll end up unboxing them at some point. Until next time, though, I have been your host, The Stooge, and don't forget, adventure, excitement. The Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. This is Stooge Club! <laughs>